regulator for compulsory specifications, adding more names to the list of tinned pilchards being recalled. It says it's engaging with all the role players to ensure that no more of the products are sold. For more on this, I'm joined on the line by the regulators, Macy Katz. Macy, a very good evening to you. Thank you for your time. So you've now widened the net, as it were, as far as the brands affected. What's informed that? So this has mainly been... Uh... Hi there, Macy. Are you able to hear me? Okay. Good, good afternoon. Uh, good evening. It is Macy Katz. I am able to hear you now. All right. Let's pick up, Macy, on the question that I was asking you about the decision essentially to add more brands to this recall. So the reason why we add more brands to the call, this is really as a result of the investigation that has been conducted um, by the NRCS, which um, had revealed a deficiency in the canning process of the products that were produced by West Point processors on this, in the year 2019. My apologies for interrupting. On this deficiency in the canning process, do we know exactly what went wrong in the canning of the products? So some of the cans that were produced during the canning process, they were compromised during the soft filling step on the production line and therefore could affect the safety of the consumers as time goes on. People, of course, quite terribly concerned, uh, Macy, about what could happen to them if they've already eaten or consumed these products as it were. Do we know what the risk is to humans? So this is a precautionary recall which we do not want to expose the consumers to any possible food poisoning, and uh, hence the recall, and that is why we are advising the consumers to make sure that they do not consume any product that may be leaking or that may show some signs of leakage, because that could result to possible food poisoning. And sadly, the products with the barcodes that you've listed are still on the shelves to some extent. So the quickness with which retailers have to resume, uh, remove them, I beg your pardon, is there a guideline on how quickly that has to happen? So currently the manufacturer has already started the recall over the weekend. So at this stage the regulator is just following up to make sure that the process is efficiently implemented and the consumers are not exposed to any of these products that could be compromised. And are you satisfied with the way in which the recall has now been effected since the news broke Saturday? At this stage, we are still continuing with the process and we are still making sure that the consumers are being made aware of this product. Hence, we have quickly or we have swiftly implemented the processes and be able to identify all the affected brains. Is there any news, Macy, just finally at this stage of people who might have taken ill or otherwise as a result of consuming the affected pilchards? At this stage, there are no news. As I have indicated before, this is a precautionary measure to ensure that the consumers are not exposed to such products. All right, Macy Katz, thank you so much for your time on Nightline. We'll continue to bring you, as I was saying earlier, more on that breaking news story here on ENCA. So